Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know I said I was going to stop at, at the end of part 21 of this series because, you know, we completed all the major tasks in the game as far as, you know, uh, all the fates of all the provinces and counties. We cleared out the, uh, the one dungeon, uh, the Tomb of the Ancients. Uh, but what I want to do here is we have a very specific item called the Viper. It's a dagger that goes along with a poison build very well. I want to hire another ranger to make use of that, as well as I want to try out the weapon that we got from the Tomb of the Ancients. It's a one-handed mace that we have on one of our warriors. We have to make her a, uh, a targe as well. So we're going to get on that in just a moment. And we're just going to kind of go around and complete some side tasks. Uh, you know, we, we can get some, some jobs from the inns, as well as we can take out some random groups of bandits and stuff like that so with that said thank you for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed this series so far we're gonna go ahead and just get started on here first things first let's see if we can find someone to hire that guy's a warrior you're a spearman and you're a swordsman okay so we're gonna have to go somewhere else to find what we need uh let's go ahead and just make our way we have a couple jobs here oh you know what first things first actually we need to make a targe. I do have a knowledge that I can use, um, but we can't use it until after we cr uh, craft this for the first time. Let's go ahead and forge this, and then we can make a, a better one afterwards. All right, perfect. Continue. I think that'll add a new thing to the compendium. So let's go here. Iron plated roundel. Armor plus five, guard plus 11% protection capacity. Let's go ahead and uh, learn it. I don't know if we have what it takes to craft it, but we'll check. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay. Let's craft it then. Perfect. All right, armor plus seven, guard plus 13. That's going to make our, uh, our warrior very tanky. Cathacham. So yeah, this is called the Ingenious One. Uh, it has the ability called Wrath, Wrath of Urkashet. It deals 16 to 21 damage to the target, but if the, if the unit has less strength than Cath, then it does double damage and it's a guaranteed critical hit. So what Kath can do is go around chasing like archers and uh, rangers. So that way she can just really 1v1 them and win very easily. So that, that's what we're going to do with her. And she now has 65 armor and 65 health with 37 guards. So she's extremely tanky. Extremely tanky. So this is going to be great. I'm really excited about that. And now we're going to go ahead and get on our way to getting to the next town. Let's see if there's any things to buy food-wise here. No? No? Okay. All right, let's get on the road. We're going to get out there and get to the next region so we can see if we're about, about hiring a, a ranger. With that said, though, guys, if you have enjoyed this series, make sure that you haven't already. You are subscribed to the channel, so that way you don't miss any future uploads for more things from this game when, when they add more, because this is an early access. I'll be adding more stuff in the near future. And of course, make sure you leave a like on the video, so that way YouTube will recommend it to more like-minded folks, more people that are into games like this. This is like a strategy RPG mercenary band simulator, and it's, it's really great. I honestly wasn't expecting to enjoy this game this much, but it's been quite a treat. All right, we have to camp already. Oh, we also have this thing in the lectern. Uh, Builder's Codex, Chapter 1. We only have to camp a couple more times to get it to go, so we'll see about completing that here in a little while. Oh, we're being attacked. Uh, I'm just going to negotiate just get out of there i don't want to fight them right now because i want to make sure that we can just go get a ranger and level them up before we uh, start getting into big fights hopefully there's one in strom cap 
If not, we can go further north too. I'm excited to make a, a poison based assassin or not assassin, I guess poison based ranger, a poisoner. Not quite sure what the class is called, but we'll figure it out soon. Just need to find them to hire them. And depending on how strong the build is, I mean, we can go ahead and maybe take on some plague rats, maybe. They're a little more on the difficult side based on how deadly they are, but. Might be able to make things work really well with how many things that we have going on with this, this mercenary group. Alright, let's hope there's a ranger here in Stromcap ready to go. Hypinius and Aneth. Nope. Unfortunately not here. Let's see about getting some work. Uh, we can bring a message to the informer in Marheim. We're going to be headed that way, so I guess that's okay. We've already got that job. So I guess we're going to continue moving north. We're going to get up to Marheim up here. Hopefully one of these places has a ranger. I think they'll refresh if we leave the region and come back in, though, so... We're just going to keep bouncing back and forth until we get what we're looking for here. I'm excited to have like a, a true tank with a heavy hitting weapon as well as we're going to have a, a poison build. I was thinking of, I should have built a sly welt for it, but I didn't know that at the time that we could use the boss item. Um, even if we weren't level five, I guess you can just use them right away, which is weird to me. I still don't understand that, but all the same, that's just how the game is right now. If I had known that, of course I would have done that a lot sooner, but that's okay. Actually, hold on. You have full battle plates. 21%, 58%. 22%, 64%. This one's a little bit better, and it has uh, an armor layer available. Let's go ahead and yoink that. We can sell this uh, lesser one to them. Here you go. And I might have a layer that goes with her. Maybe. No. I thought I did. We can craft one at the forge, though, so it's not a big deal. I thought I had a spare one around. All the same, a little bit of upgraded armor for Kath. I don't think we'll be seeing her take many double-digit damage hits anymore. Absolute tank. Alright, here's Marheim. Let's hope that they have what we need. Give me a ranger, please. Osbrick is a spearman. Altus is a civilian. You're the informant. Randick is an archer. You're the emissary. Nict is a ranger. Only level two, though. I think the other area, on the bottom left and the southwest, rather, is a uh, level three. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and hire this guy. Where was he? Right here? Is your name Nict? Yes. All right, man. 100 influence, 200 gold to hire you. Let's do it. All right, let's see about your gear now. Put you on the uh, training thing. Let's go ahead and put Viper in your hand and then the poison throwing dagger that we have in your other hand. Perfect. Let's level you up. We want to go with Poisoner on this when he's level three uh valorous audacity every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat you gain one valor point every time this unit kills an enemy you gain a point and then every time this unit ends next turn next to an ally is not engaged in combat we're gonna go with valorous victory i feel like this guy's gonna be doing some very hefty damage Okay, 
Okay, let's give him some constitution if that's what he wants. All right, so we're going to have to level him up once to get him to poisoner. That ability applies three poisons to all units in the area. So if you don't know what Venom is, it, he, it's a weapon from Smot at Smot's Arena. Uh, when you defeat him down here in... Where is it? Smot's Arena. Oh, it's up here. Smot's Arena. It's in the uh, Marheim region, Vertrus province. Up here, when you beat all the challenges there, it'll make... It, you, Smot himself will challenge you. He's a boss. When you defeat him, you get this this uh dagger and the big thing about this dagger is it has toxic blade it deals flat damage to a target but also consumes all poison stacks applied to a target to increase the damage by 15 percent per application per stack so you know for example if we hit him with a poison knife throw and then poison that's four stacks so that'll be 60 percent extra damage on top of that Oh, you know what? On top of that, something else I can do here. I can take this knowledge off of this book and we can go ahead and learn, where is it? Pristine Essence, I think, for Poisonous Oil. So that way we can use Poisonous Oil to apply to Venom as well to apply more poison. I don't think it'll consume it right away because it applies the damage and then applies the effects. But all the same, that's another poison stack for the next turn to consume. So that could be very big. Let's go ahead and learn this so we can start making some more poisonous oil. Uh, we're going to have to make a pristine essence, which we're going to need plague infected outgrowth sample, which we get from plague rats. So that'll be something that we have to take care of. And then we can make some, uh, some pristine essence. I wonder if we can buy any anywhere, maybe from an apothecary. At least not this one anyway. Uh, but yeah, so we got that. Let's go ahead and look at the tavern here. See about getting this guy some experience to start leveling him up. All right, we have Loudril's troop we can take. We can negotiate again. 9% success rate to make the money go up further. Oh, what the heck? You just keep doing that? Holy, I, did, I had no idea. I don't know, you could stack those. Okay, that's a good payday on that. Let's go ahead and take it. Uh, next thing I need to do is see about making a better armor for our new poisoner. He's a ranger type, so he's going to be using... I'm pretty sure it's going to be light armor for poisoner as well, right? Yeah, hey, that's all they can use is light armor. So we need to make another light armor for him. All right, padded doublet. We can make two of these right now. Good. Let's go ahead and make one for him. I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been more options for armor to craft. All right, it's got two armor layers. That's awesome. Oh, he can't equip light armor yet until he's level three. And then he gets the ability to do it. So we have to leave that on him for now. He's going to be fairly weak in the meantime. Uh, with that said, though, let's see about making some layers while we're here. Let's get a strength layer going for Kath on her new armor. Definitely want to make sure her strength is high as possible to, you know, go with her, her new mace. And then... Let's see about guard, dexterity, strength, critical hit. Let's go with dexterity. Make one more. Oh, I can't. I need more cloth. I actually used all my cloth. I think it's the first time in this game I've ever been out of cloth. So we'll make more cloth. Uh... Wait, where'd that go? Oh, we have to equip it in order to put that in. Weird. All right, here's Kath. Let's go ahead and put that on you. There you go. 
Her strength is now 25, which is fairly, fairly good. Could be better, but it is good. Okay, let's make a save and let's get out there and start leveling this man up. Let's go to the west and take out this troop. Uh, I think I need a couple of these. Go ahead and take those. I'm sure we'll earn some cloth otherwise, too. I really hope more content comes for this game soon because I'm, even at this point, I'm just really addicted to this game and I'm looking for more excuses to play it. It's been such a good time playing this. All right, so the big thing we're going to do with our, our new ranger, Nicked, is we're going to try to just keep him alive. That's pretty much all it's going to be is just keeping him alive. Let's put you way in the back. Uh, we have Regit here. Put Regit here so we can make use of this spear as quickly as possible. And he's got fragility on him, so the spear will kill him, and we might be able to get right here and hit two of these guys at once, which are sappers, which will be nice. Uh, is there. Let's put Kath up front. Um, maybe Kath right here. All right, let's not leave him by himself. Let's put you over here as well. All right, I think this is good. Let's go ahead and take our man Regit right away. One forty with that. Absolutely insane. This might be a double kill here too. No, I mean, pretty close. Uh, let's get you here. Oh, I can't wrath from here. Weird. Oh, you know what? He's not under half health. I'm an idiot. Okay. All right, Kath, let's see about using uh, Wrath of Urkishet here. Forty-three damage. Yeah, so if we position her well and outstrength a lot of people, she's just gonna get guaranteed damage on people and just destroy. It's gonna be really cool. Thirty-eight guard with all that armor. Amazing. All right, Silelts. Let's get you right here. Finish that guy off. Um, hmm. I don't want to walk into this. Let's just engage this guy and see how it goes. All right, Regi is going to be in need of help here. We can line these two up, knock this, knock them out of the game here. There we go. Nice. We'll walk up on this guy and give him some heals as well. No? Am I not right next to you? 
I'm not sure why that's maybe we have to be even closer somehow. I'm not sure why. Okay, you let's go ahead and get this spear in game here. Dang, I was hoping to kill him off. Okay, we're going to do that, and then we're going to back up all the way over here. Next to Kath. Uh, who's going next? You. Sapper over here. This duelist. That duelist. Okay, let's go, just go ahead and put it right here like so. I mean, that's a free disengage. Can't be mad about that. Okay, Eurygnia. Let's get you in play right here. Shoot this guy in the back. Oh, one HP and he's bleeding. He's going to die in his next turn no matter what. Sessorthude. A little too far away to get into any engagements, but let's move you up close. We can just kill this guy off. No, not quite. Dang. All right. This guy might be dead. Nice. He's trying to go for Kath there, too. All right. Nicked. We have Toxic Blade, Poison Throw. Can you kill this guy with this right here? I mean, he's out to one HP, but nice. First kill. Nice. <laughs> well done. Ooh, nice crit. He's poisoned. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, it does consume the poison stack, it looks like, as well. Instead of, like, like that's what I thought it would do. Just kind of consume it. I'm fine with that. I was thinking that was going to happen, but... Very nice. We got uh, two kills there with him. Some nice experience. I'm not sure if the experience to, uh, applies directly if they get a kill, but... All the same. Okay, this guy should take some pretty heavy damage because he has very low strength. This might be just a one-hit job here. Oh, yeah. 63. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, if you guys haven't seen, uh, it's this one. Uh, the Wrath of Urkishet. It's su You get it from the Tomb of the Ancients when you complete it. When you get in there and uh, get everything done in there. Well, no spoilers, but if you need a little bit of a guide, you can check out my last video. It'll show you how to complete it. Very, very uh, straightforward. Uh, solves the puzzle and everything. All that stuff. It's a very, very good one-handed mace. And so far, it's quite good. Enjoying it. Uh, we have two people over here. Let's go ahead and get you over here involved as well. Let's just really abuse your tankiness here. We'll get Kath right next to you as well. I think you're a lie, Kath. Uh, these two here is, are going to be a great combo. Oh man, I can't actually get in there. Uh, might be able to get this kill here though. Yeah. There you go, bud. Let's go ahead and move you out of the way here. So many people in my mercenary band are incredibly strong. Eh. <laughs> Let's see the damage this does. Six. 
pathetic. Sesterthu didn't see any action this round, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, man, let's see about this. 49. Hell yeah. Just guaranteeing that big damage from a one-handed weapon. A couple Night Steel Greatswords, good selling fodder. Okay, level five in Crime and Chaos, new mission. Okay. All right, he's got 56 experience out of that. We can go ahead and camp. He'll get some experience as well, just from being near that, which is good. I think the, the thing at the lectern might complete here too. We'll see what this is about. No? Oh, it needs one more. I thought we needed one more rest for that. All right, he's at 69. Nice. Nice. Let's go ahead and get back to town, turn this in, and think about picking up some more tasks. Need some more cloth as well, I think. Okay. Anything else for us? Sebic gang. I have so much influence, I can just max these out. Ah, 10% chance to lose that, and we do. Crazy. All right. Oh, you know what? I have info for this as well. Where is the informant? There you are. Whoops. Forgot about that. Just looking for quick ways to build up my money as well, so that way we can keep things rolling well. Buy all the food we need in the world. Speaking of, let's buy the eel soup. Hit the markets. All right, I need your grapes. We have 54 salt. We're good on that. Uh, I think I need apples, right? I need apples to make the uh, apple pancakes. Let's take all of those. And I can't... I mean, I guess I could use the eels if I were to learn eel soup. Which I probably should just for more options. Let's go ahead and buy all these eels. Gross. All right, two eel, two cabbage, two salts. Everything takes salts. I guess we're gonna go here and buy all your cabbage as well. All right, it says we have seven days worth of food, but that's without preparing any of these actual meals. So we we'll probably have more than double that. So we're good on food for a while. All right, the Sebek gang is out here. Right there. This one's going to be a little on the tougher side, so we're going to make a save here just in case. Hello, friends. Level five. All right, let's see. They have leader's aggression. Where's the leader at? Where is Sebek? 
All the way in the back. Okay, perfect. So what does this aggression do? They always deal critical hits. That is annoying as hell. That actually makes this rather tough. That poacher down there is in a bad spot for us too. Where is Nicked? Put you there. I think we take out this little pocket right here, right away. This guy down here as well. Get you over here. All right, we can hit this spear right here, and then we'll be able to smash those two up with the axe. All right, let's do this. Good crits. All right, not close enough to do anything else from there. Oh, you're going right for him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the poor man immediately almost dies. Yeah, they're always going to be critting, so this is a real, a real struggle here. All right, Wrath is the right thing to do there. So that way, the next attack, we get extra damage on Laceration. Just unfortunate that uh, the leader's all the way in the back there, so there's not much we can do as far as actually just killing these guys. I have to take care of this poacher, so that way he doesn't go after Nicked anymore. There you go. He'll be safer now. We'll just have to keep him out of combat, this go. These guaranteed crits are tough. Let's move you down out of the way here. Okay. can't actually reach this poacher with uh Kath right now that's unfortunate. But we can make it to this hoodlum here. Get our guaranteed crit. Finish them off. And then we're going to go ahead and put on protection because we know we're going to get attacked very soon there. And then Eurygnia can follow up the back here. Actually, hold on. Before we do that. Uh, no, no. This is the right thing. We need to try to take care of this Marauder right here. Okay, solid. And your turn. And bring you up. Uh, damn, I was hoping we'd be able to move up right here. Unfortunately not. All right. This Marauder might move a little bit. Let's try putting you here and see if this does anything. I don't think he's going to need to walk there. If he does try to move with his axe, we'll see what happens. Nope. All right. Only one damage. Amazing armor. Okay. You can go right here and hit both of these guys.
hit this Hoodlum with the slow. He'll still probably be able to reach, but that's okay. Sabic is coming up soon, too. Let's go ahead and move you a little bit back. Yeah, all right. Honestly, not bad, though. Okay, uh, Nicked, I don't think you're going to be really all that useful. We're just going to leave you back here. All right, so we need to try to take, take out this Marauder here and this Poacher here as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and do another one of these. We can hit three people at once with this, actually. This is huge. Okay, it's two kills. Let's make that three. Yeah, that bow on tri-roll is phenomenal. So good. That's so good. Okay, Kath, let's go ahead and get you right in here. We're going to beat up Sebek with this. Yeah, dude, it's so good. Crazy. Actually, you know what? Oh, no, no, we're good. We're good. gonna say move next to her for brutality but there's no point in that because we lose the uh distance double damage okay cool nicked almost died there but it worked out it's the danger of bringing a level uh level three into a level five fight Hey guys, do me a favor. If you made it to this point in the video, leave a like on it so the way YouTube will recommend it to more folks. Thank you so much. Let's see if these guys have anything cool for us. Not really. This will buy your wine though. Wine's good, so like and uh, they they can fill in some odds and ends when it comes to not wanting to overuse uh, bigger food items. And it gives happiness, which is always good if we need it. Okay, we're going to need to camp in a moment as well, which is good because it'll give experience as well as uh, finish off the lectern thing. Okay, we don't need anything else from you. Let's go ahead and... Go over here until we have to camp, and then we're going to do so. Yeah, that'll finish up here. There it is. Builder's Codex Chapter 1. You've deciphered the following excerpt from the Codex of the Ancients. I fell asleep in Canopus and awoke in Seafrid, but the cities looked so alike that I didn't realize I had left the harbor. It's such a shame to see all the young builders copying Urkishet's work. There's that name again, Urkishet's. Okay, let's go ahead and put this fragment of a precious item in there. We need five more sleeps for that. We'll see what that is. So, if I heard right, that actually adds a profession somewhere. But none of these are new. Not sure what that does for us. Honestly, didn't seem to do anything. I'm not quite sure. I don't see any new items here.
Oh, runes and codices right here. Okay. So it just fills out this page here in the compendium. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Not sure what that'll do for us at the end of the day. Maybe it'll make us so... Oh, you know what? It probably makes us so weak. We need to discover those in order to make things advance in Tombs of the Ancients that we find further on in the game. It's probably tied to that. In order to complete stuff in those, you need to complete stuff in the previous ones, which would honestly make sense to me. Outlaw's Hauberk. Armor 50, Guard 17. That seems pretty good, yeah? I guess it's not. That's got guard 56, or armor 56, rather. I mean, it's better than Uralize here, and gives us crit chance. Let's go ahead and get it for her right here, then. I'll trade you for this. Thank you. In the meantime, you can have all of those. Very good. Very nice. Excellent news. Don't go too far. We're going to just sell you an armor as well. And it's got two uh, armor layers as well. It's really good. Yeah, it's a universal upgrade. Love to see that. Hold on then. Come back. There you go. I think I took more of your money than you gave me, but... Or than I gave you, that's fine. Alright, so we need to make our way back down to Stromcap, see if there's any tasks there we can complete. gives us more carrying capacity but i'm not so worried about that i don't know if i like the idea of carrying capacity tied to armor i feel like it's a wasted slot because you can just get more horses all right now i have 257 capacity granted you have to feed the horses but when you get to a certain point that's not so difficult anymore Really excited to see what happens when we get Nick to the poison capability, the poisoner. We're going to have to fight some plague rats in order to get uh, the pristine essence as well. So that's something we're going to have to try to do soon. Okay, here we are. Trade in Korsha. Oh, I didn't mean to just hit that. Let's get greedy. Damn. All right, it's fine. We'll take this as well, just because we'll end up going back up that way eventually. Ah. At least we don't lose at all. But the influence is going faster there, so it's. I think maybe we just kind of 100% at once and go from there. All right, so we're going to have to go down to Korsha, it looks like. We still have uh, Milaj troop over there as well. Oh, right. We've not gone down to Korsha in a little while. We have to sell two pottery down there. Let's grab pottery. I don't think I have any in my pockets. Yeah. You, sir, give me pots. One, two. Thank you. Uh, grapes are on sale. Let's snag those. I will take your apples, too. 
Let's take your pork. Your mutton. Okay, we are so well stocked on food. I need to avoid buying food stuff for a while. We have nine dates worth if we just eat everything as it is. We do not need any more food stuff. Just like the idea of getting way ahead. We have a ton of money to spare at this point, so it's good. From here on out, we're just going to try to stack money. All right, so we can hit, hit Korsha, sell the pots, and then just go straight south from there. We'll see if they have any more new tasks for us as well. We already accepted two in that vicinity, so I don't know if there will be any more for us to take at that time. Of easier difficulty anyway. Maybe we'll be able to find something average. Just avoiding doing the hard difficulty stuff until uh, everyone is level five. Okay, we have a camp time. You don't realize how long it takes to level someone up until uh, <laughs> you're just trying to level up one guy specifically. I wish we were able to get to level three ranger down here because we would, we would have been able to get a faster start that way. But unfortunately, there was not one here at the beginning of the video. Oh, we need to do this improvised burning stake thing as well. Maybe we could uh, go over there after we complete some of these tasks as well. All right, to the markets. Let's talk to you. Sell the pottery. All right, we have these two tasks here. Yeah, all right. Let's go straight south and take out this bandit troop down here. It's right by the castle. Lewis the Buzzard. Oh, this is straight up like front. Where is Lewis? All right, unit always deals critical hits. He's got that on everybody, so we have to take him out immediately. Let's get, uh, Regit on the job. Where are you? You're gonna go straight for that guy. Let's get everyone over here. Let's just have a straight up battle. Where's Nicked? Put him in the back. You there. The accessor Thude should be flanker. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what? We can get even closer. Damn. This is a pretty generous little setup. There we go. All right, let's do this. It's one shotting the boss. No big deal. Everything's fine. Alright, do that and then make him fall back this way to lessen the heat. Alright, let's see about just outstrengthing this guy. 
Yep. So the whole 25 strength idea, it works very well with Kath. All right, you're definitely going to be taking hits. So let's go ahead and deflect. Get brutality on this. All right, maybe she's not going to take hits. Oh, you're just going over that way, huh? Weird choice. But respectable. All right, just because I want to. She just want to put uh, Venom to use here. <laughs> Poisoned you and then took it away again. It's fine. That's going to be really great when we can actually throw out fields of poison, because that means that uh, anyone that walks into that field realistically should take extra damage. Let's get a bit of a smoke screen here. Thoughts? Yeah, good idea. Good idea. I should put your ally on the other side of Kath. Okay. Just because I have so much fun with this. Let's go over and smack this guy with a huge mace. Oh my god. 69. Nice. Very nice. Rude. A whole four damage. All right, very fast, very good. We got that. Now we can go all the way up north. I wish that uh, bridge was still there. Come on, then. All right, they're going to be over by the customs post. We're going to have to camp before we get there, though. All right, let's make some food first. We found some wheat. Let's make uh, let's make an apple pancake. And a whole bunch of eel soup. Gross. Need to get more beans as well. They're great filler too.
And it's two camps on that. Still not sure what that's going to give us, but I'm curious. Malad the Tyrant. Might be pronounced Melody or Melody. Not sure. Uh, where are you? Ravager, crewmates. Oh, these guys are a little bit uh, on the tankier side. Okay. She's right there. Let's get our man Regit over here. Hit both these guys at once, too. Uh, Nicked is right there. We're, that's actually the best spot he could be. Uh, Kath, we're gonna need you over here to tank on this front. You're ally right next to you. Cesar Thud can go for a flank here. With all the support from the archers and an assassin. All right, let's do this. All right, get rid of that bonus. Um, can we wrath you? No, not quite low enough. Uh, he'll take enough damage to die in his next turn anyway, so it's not a big deal. Hmm. Okay, we have time over here. All right, so Kath is out to, is able to outstrength the majority of enemies so far. Not seen a single enemy that she can't outstrength yet, so that's great. Get the deflection going. Ah. Well, this is neat. <laughs> One damage. All right, let's do this. Give you wrath. And I think we can uh, lacerate you. No, we're not in range. That's unfortunate. This crewmate's going to be going in a moment, so it's about getting over here and just killing this guy off, maybe, so we're not taking extra damage. Move you up right here next to him. Acceptable outcome. Four damage. Amazing. Oh, 
All right, uh, we're going to use run just to make you have to work for this. Let's go all the way over here. Good spot for you. All right, surround debuff. Still only taking eight damage. Let's see. Oh, good crit on that. Damn. Using, uh, using Regid to open up a turn is always huge. All right, you're just out of range of that, unfortunately, so let's not bother with that. Okay. Damn, not in range to lacerate there. Right, let's get you over here all the same. Oh, you know, I forgot about this guy. There you go. There you are. <laughs> Kath is so incredibly tanky, man. I love it. Kill you. Do that. I I forgot Sester Dude was right there. Totally forgot. Have this. I always need to keep in mind I could use run. To close that gap too to get closer to enemies. Don't always need it to use like use it to run away. Now you guys are so far away, you're not gonna be able to get into the fight anyway. Yep. Kath has become one of my favorites with this new mace. So strong. Nice, seventy seven. Companions two ended mace. Nice. Nice. Also, uh, what is this? Daub? Simply looking at this terrible portrait will make your eyes water. <laughs> nice. Oh, Nick's leveled up. Sweet. Now we've got the poisoner. Yep. And then, of course, we're going to up his dexterity. Because he wants that, so he's going to get two out of that. That's huge. And then we can... Oh, whoa, whoa. That's not a good time for you. Okay. You. You want... This. You also want this. Nice. Now his dexterity is 31. He's going to be doing a lot more damage with the blade. 
Now we can apply poison. We have the poison vial. Applies three poisons to all units in the area, which means that you can start using venom or viper rather to really stack damage. So we can use two valor points to essentially stack four stacks of poison. We'll see what kind of damage that gives us. Also, we need to make sure that we use him to specifically backstab enemies. So how you backstab enemies in this is when they're engaged in combat with somebody else, you get up basically anywhere around them, but when they're not engaged on, on this character specifically, it'll give him additional damage for the backstab. So need to make sure that we, uh, we apply that rule here with him too, to really add up the damage. So I feel like maybe keeping him alongside uh, Cesar Thud or Calf, so that way they can tank. Maybe even reg it. Let's make a save since we got that going. Do I have any more cloth? Yeah, so we can make another uh, dexterity thing too. There's that. Our next contract appears there in an hour. Okay, also, I think there's someone else that could use some uh, armor layers as well. Where did that go? There it is. Uh, Kath has one. I think it might be our pikeman. Yeah. Let's maybe give her some uh, some strength. We also need one for Cesar Thude. I feel like a movement one on Cesar Thude would be good. I thought we had armor layers for movement. I guess not. Okay, so what do I need for strength? Two more cloth and two more leather. Right, we can just wait for another hour to pass before this other bounty appears here. There it goes. Pelerarum's troop. All right, we'll accept that. All right, let's go do it. We've made back all the money that we spent on all the food stuff and all the crafting stuff. Everything's looking good. We've got our new poisoner at level three. Need those guys to separate. This is not ideal. <laughs> what is this? There we go. Coming in hot. Not sure why it sounds like there's extra footsteps happening, but... All right, yeah, he's uh, he's got basically 19 more armor on there. It's good. Oh, I don't have any valor points. Shoot. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it?
Put you behind you. I feel like we should just kind of do two fronts here. Even 100. And they have a <laughs> they have a pretty good amount of guard. Okay, let's go ahead and put you next to your ally so she gets brutality. Should be able to one shot this guy. All right, not quite one shot, but close enough. You know what? The sapper's not going anywhere, so I'm not worried about uh, finishing him off. He's going to be stuck fighting Kath anyway. It's totally fine. Okay, you just line this up for me. Can't not take this opportunity. Build up some Valor points here. Ooh, he's got one of these four stabby things. Oh, jeez. All right, just because I want to try this out, I'm going to have him tank this. Ow. Okay. Okay, so it does 31 based on doing 22 and consuming all the stacks. Let's see what happens if we do this and apply another stack. It should be able to kill them off. That's 8 damage plus another stack, so it's 15 extra percent. It might kill him. Oh, 34, but that's still good. That's still solid. I enjoyed that. All right, Regga is in pain. I'm going to leave you right there so we can get that. Move you up to the side. There you go. Nice punch. Okay, just wanted to kill off that guy. We're going to move you right here. End the turn. All right, you're not engaged in combat. All right, so this duelist is going to go up next. I'm worried about Nyx getting attacked here, though. Let's see about getting... You know what? Let's just... Engage this guy in combat here. We should be focusing this guy down anyway because the whole leader idea. So now that he's engaged in combat, we'll be able to get extra damage here. 
Uh, we're going to move you up here, though, so that way this duelist will focus on you. Let's pop a heal on Sesterthude as well. Yeah, I don't blame him for doing that. I should focus on this end. Eli's got some movement on her too. I forgot about that. Okay, that archer's done for. That's the beauty about Kath as well. It's 69, nice. Um, she can really just like engage anyone and basically just bully them out of the fight just by engaging on them. That archer couldn't do anything, which is always nice. Can't I move any of these guys? Did I already use them this go around? Oh, I never finished my turn with you. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Forgive me. It's late. Right, that guy's getting actually all the damage. He's, this guy's like living the dream right now. All right, buddy. Time to lock you down. in them and kill him kill him little buddy yeah yeah <laughs> all right move you behind you perfect and he engaged in combat on somebody else so uh time to apply the pain the glorious backstab pain and again surrounded bonus as well. I'll just go ahead and finish him off with this. Okay. Uh, I get, need to get more repair stuff. All right. That's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and get back to town so we can get all the tools we need here. Clean that up well. My only downfall in that fight was not having any valor points Ugh, nope don't want that okay let's turn this in all right no more bounties here we can go back up to the northeast talk to you take your pork stew let me sell some stuff to you real quick too i don't think we need this inquisition great axe anymore as much as i enjoyed it not much point in keeping it don't need the companion's two-handed mace don't need farmer's rags don't need daub don't need sapphire don't need the prayer book or the outlaw's tunic or this targe. So many things to sell. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I think we're looking good here. Need to go get some raw materials. Also, we can pay to repair all of our armors too. Beautiful. All right, from there, let's check our experience on Nicked. Yeah, okay. About a sixth of the way to level four. I think, um, I think he's going to be a pretty high damage potential. I like it. Especially because, uh, the field in which we can apply poison to things is fairly generous. We just have to make sure we don't get our allies caught up in it. I should probably be seeing what these guys have for sale. Don't need food stuff. Avoid buying food stuff. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It's been a good time leveling up this new character. In fact, um, I know, I know I said again, uh, part 21 is going to be the last one until they release more content. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video out and I'm going to go ahead and play more as well, record more, just leveling nicked up. And then maybe we'll take on some of these rat infestations after we get nicked to level five, we'll take on these rat infestations and then perhaps, um, some of the, uh, nightmare stuff as well. All right, I need more beans. Need some lower end food stuff to fill these gaps. Oh, how much is left on this? Two more? So that way, you know, when, uh, when it comes time, when they do add more content, we're going to have quite the gang, a surplus of money. All that stuff. We'll be, we'll be in a really good shape for whatever they throw into the game. Okay. First things first, we need to go here. Buy all your raw material. Thanks. All right, we have that. And that. Man, not great tasks out here. I just don't want to accept one of these hard things and get uh, nicked, potentially killed. You can get one shot still. Need to buy some lower end food stuff. Beans? Any beans? No beans? Still need more wheat to make more apple pancakes. Um. Hmm. So have 18 grapes. Yeah, I mean, we're good on food stuff. Otherwise, I just need some lower end stuff, man. We need plague infected outgrowth sample. So we're going to need to take on some of these plague nests soon. All right, let's head to the to the north furthermore. Back on to Gossenberg. I'm sad that I used the uh, poison oil on, I think it was uh, Silelt. It's not a big deal that we don't have it on, uh, you know, to use on the Viper dagger, but it would just make it so like 
sequential uh, attacks would be more beneficial. That's a nice hammer. Oh, you know what would be really great? If we could make enough pristine essence to get a bunch of uh, poison on everybody's weapons. Just apply that universally so that way it could be just like extra damage all around for not only for like the passive poison damage over time, but also just extra damage on the side for uh, Nicked. That would be so cool. That would take a lot. I think there's three more plague nests in the world. So at most, we could do that three more times. All right, what is it that we had to do here? Oh, info. Easy. There you go. All right, very nice. Very nice. All right, guys, this is a great place to leave off on this video. Now that we're here, we have a couple things to do in this region. We got the uh, Mintos gang and then the Van Wim gang. When we come back in the next video, we're going to take care of those. Keep leveling up Nicked, our new poisoner. It's been uh, pretty adventurous so far. He almost died twice. So, you know, there's that going on. And then um, these two should get him halfway to level four with everything going on and of course when we rest we'll have that going on but all the same i hope you enjoyed this video there is more war tales coming on the way i know i said in part 21 that that was going to be it for a little while because we kind of cleared up all the major content but we're going to do a bunch of side stuff and really just flesh out our mercenary band so that way when they do add more content we're able to just kind of really really do well i'm looking forward to that with that said guys thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing and I'll see you soon for more.